This is what I do to reattach a head to the mannequin. Some mannequins come in pieces and you gotta put them back together. What I'm gonna do here to attach this head is kind of overkill and I know that, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. It's just a little bare head, it doesn't take much, but I don't want there to be any chance of this thing coming apart later. I recently made a video where I was fixing a mountain goat mount where the head literally came off the completed mount. It was done by another taxidermist and I want to avoid anything like that happening in the future or any time at all. So I'm gonna be doing a lot to secure this head on there. And then, like I said, it's overkill, but I'd rather be safe than sorry in this kind of thing. Along with the mannequin and head, we also need Sharpie, Stout Ruffer, Bondo, or in this case, knockoff Bondo, T-pins, drill with a spade bit. I'm using a three quarter inch spade bit and a threaded rod, but I'm gonna cut this in half. Now, I already did this step, but the first thing I do is put the head where I want it to sit on the mannequin, and then I just make some lines with the Sharpie so I can align the head up later. The next thing I do is take the stout ruffer and I roughen up both sides, the head and the mannequin side, where this seam is going to pair together. This will allow the bondo to adhere better to these two foam sides. Next, I'm going to take the spade bit and just drill a few shallow holes in each side of the seam. I'm not trying to make these holes line up whatsoever. I'm just giving that Bondo more surface area. I'm also just gonna blow this off with canned air to make sure there's no loose pieces of foam debris on either side. Now I'm gonna take the T-pins and put them in the head here and have them just ready to go so I can secure the head to the mannequin just instantly. I'm about to do the Bondo, but while that Bondo is kicking, I just want these T-pins to hold this head in place. I used five T-pins, that should be plenty enough to hold it. Before I mix up the Bondo, I just flip this guy over so that way I can put Bondo here and gravity will help it stay in place. So now I'm gonna mix up some Bondo and I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing and kind of estimating how much I need in order to fill the seam and fill those little keyholes that I made with the spade bit. I think it's efficient to put the Bondo on the mannequin side first, just so that gravity isn't making that Bondo go anywhere. Then I put Bondo on the head side and I'm holding it kind of awkward, but I was just trying to get this on video. So now I'm just putting that head back on the mannequin and squishing it down and trying to line up the head with those marks that I made with the Sharpie earlier. Then pushing those T-pins in when I like where it sits. When that Bondo firms up, I can just literally peel off this excess Bondo and I'm actually just using a scalpel here to kind of cut off the excess Bondo. So I just went down and cut this threaded rod in half. This is about 10 inches long, and I'm literally gonna put this at the end of my drill here. Now this rod is gonna go through the head and into the body. It's just gonna secure it that much more. That way it's not just the bondo at the seam. There's actually more strength within the whole mannequin itself. You can see this is kind of what I'm going for here. Like I want this rod to go through the head and into the body. Obviously, I'm at the end here, so I'm just gonna unscrew this. There is a little bit of that threaded rod still sticking out. I can either like come through and cut that out or I can hammer it back in. I'm just gonna hammer it. So now you can see this rod, you can still see it obviously, but it's flush with the mannequin. And you can also see I missed a couple times. I'm gonna blame that on trying to video at the same time, but that's like really no big deal. This foam is like, it's easy. I can just put some clay over that and it's no big deal. So now this head's back on and it's super secure. It's literally not going anywhere. And I do have to go and clean up the seams a little bit because they don't quite fit perfectly, but that's okay. It's just foam, it's easy to rasp down and get it to a seamless fit. But the main thing is that it's super strong. Now it's ready to mount.